to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing a what i got for christmas video i did end up getting quite a few things for christmas i didn't really ask for anything for christmas this year i didn't have like a christmas list so i knew a couple of the things that i was gonna get especially for my mom um because she asked me like which thing i wanted and gave me kind of like some options and she also told me what she wanted to get me so i did know a couple of things but i did end up getting a lot of great gifts and i wanted to share it with you guys for this week's video so i'm gonna be mixing in what i got for christmas as well as like what i bought in sweden so if you didn't know i actually went to sweden for christmas and new year's because jordan is from sweden so his parents actually bought our tickets so that's like the biggest christmas gift that I'm going to share today is the trip to Sweden. So they actually paid for our tickets and flew us out. So I did end up buying a lot of cute clothes. We did do some shopping. So I'll show you guys what I got as well. I'm not going to do like a try on or anything. I might do like a winter try on haul in the next few weeks, but I wanted to at least show you guys what I got from Sweden. So I did pick up quite a few pieces from this store that I just fell in love with. So I'll show you guys all of that in a little bit, but I'm going to start off with all the items that I got for Christmas and if you are looking at this hair and you're like girl did you not do your hair no I did not do my hair this is freshly washed hair I was like let me just throw it back a little bit and clip it because it just needs to be out of my face but this is the chill vibe look that I'm going for today because I'm not doing anything after this video I'm gonna be on the couch editing and uploading today so this is where I'm at but since we're talking about Christmas first, I actually got this sweater, this Adidas purple sweater from my sister and it's so comfortable. I don't know what size it is. I think it might be a large, but it's like oversized, but it is a little bit cropped. So it's just super, super comfortable and has like the nice fur inside. And I'm just living my best comfy life in this sweater. So I love it. It is so cute. When I opened it, I was so, so excited. It is just so soft and the material is really, really good. So this is the first thing. Well, technically the second thing because the first one was the trip to Sweden. But this is the second thing that I got for Christmas. I'm going to go ahead and just start picking things out. Not in any like particular order. Um, I know there are some things that I'm forgetting just because we are moving in the next week. So actually a week from today, we're going to be moving to our new apartment. I'm going to do an apartment tour once we're there and everything's furnished and everything's ready and kind of talk a little bit more about why we're moving, but I'm going to be moving. So a lot of stuff is in shambles in this apartment right now. We only have a week to move. So if I'm forgetting any Christmas gifts and you guys gave me a Christmas gift, you know, I'm sorry, not meant to forget anything, but it's just a bit of a mess right now because we're going to be moving. So I'm just going to pick things out in no particular order. So I have everything next to me right here so i'm going to start out with this belt jordan's family gave me this nice belt i don't have many belts so having a nice belt like this which is gold and black it's really really nice i have like a thin thin black one that i wear for work but this one is really cute so i got this right here and it is really long so luckily his stepmom got a nice like belt cutter and like one that you can put your own holes so Got this really nice belt here. Two cute little gifts that Jordan and I actually got are luggage tags. I think this was from his little sister. So Jordan got the pizza one and I got the sushi one. And I think they are so cute. I can't wait to go on a trip and use them for next time. I wish we had them when we went to Sweden, but we got them afterwards. We didn't see them before Christmas, just after when we came back. So we got little luggage tags here. We also got this really cool tree from his family as well it's like a tree that holds a bunch of gift cards it's a white tree it's so cute and we had so many gift cards on there for us so i think it was like five each or something like that maybe four each but of course i got a nice sephora one which i'm so excited about i'm gonna use this and do a sephora and ulta haul so i'm gonna be doing that next week so stay tuned for that so i have a sephora gift card and then i have a nice victoria's secret gift card and then also a Target gift card. Me and Jordan both got $15 Target gift cards. So I'm so excited to use these. I was going to go to the mall today and use these two, but like I said, I'm in the chill 
mood. I don't want to do anything. I want to stay in today and film, edit, upload. So I'm going to be using these this weekend and then I'll film that Sephora and Ulta haul because I went to Ulta before I went to Sweden. So I have some things to share for that. And then I have a Target gift card. We're probably going to use both of our Target gift cards and the Visa gift card that he got for apartment stuff like comforters, bar stools or something like that. So adulting, putting it to good use. So we got a bunch of gift cards here. One thing that I got from my mom is a really cute Pandora um, charm. So I have a Pandora bracelet. This one actually Jordan gave me for Christmas. It's all rose gold um, charms. So there's like three on it right there. But my mom it gave me one for my original one. So I got one when I was like 16, I think. Either 16 or 17, my mom gifted me and my sister our own Pandora charm so we could add on to it. So she gave me this one with really cute little butterflies. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's little butterflies with different colors. It's like dark blue and baby pink, and they're super, super cute. And we all know that I love butterflies, so I was super excited to open this one up. So I'll have to put this one on my original Pandora charm bracelet. But then for now, since Jordan gave me this rose gold one, I've just been wearing this one. I'm gonna make this bracelet like all rose gold charms. I think it'd be really, really cute. I love rose gold. So anything rose gold, I love it. So I'm gonna make this one just all of that. Another thing that I got for Christmas from my stepdad is a nice pair of Columbia, you know, fuzzy gloves because he knew I was going to Sweden. So he got me some gloves. And let me tell you, these gloves were the best thing that I brought to Sweden. It was really, really cold. It wasn't as cold as I thought it was gonna be. Like I thought it was gonna be so cold to the point where you couldn't even like go take a walk, like that frigid cold, but it was still kind of nice. I mean, to me, and it was snowy outside. So these, shout out to my man, David, because they really saved me and these were the best gloves. So I'm gonna keep these forever. If you guys are going on a trip or going skiing or anything, these are definitely the best gloves. I don't know where he got them, but I'm pretty sure you can get them from like Amazon or something. So got some gloves here. Another thing that I got are these Friends fridge magnets. I'm so excited to put these up in the new apartment. I haven't opened it yet just because I would have to take them down anyway since we're moving. So I am so excited. It comes with 25 different magnets. My sister got it for me because we love Friends. We always watch Friends when we're together. And I actually gifted her the oh my god it's gonna drive me crazy what is that thing called it's the wheel of mayhem game from friends if you guys have seen it you definitely know what i'm talking about i got that for my sister and i'm really really excited to play it so she gave me these friends magnets definitely going to be putting this up in the new apartment as soon as possible so a nice gift from my mother we have a waffle maker she said she was going to gift it to all the kids so we have a nice waffle maker here and she also got me and Jordan a ninja slow cooker and air fryer. I know I'm really late to the party. Everybody has an air fryer, but I finally got my air fryer and I wanted one that had a slow cooker in it too, just so it could be like a double function. So she got me like a ninja one. It's in the living room. I'm not going to bring it over here because the box is just fucking ginormous and I'm waiting to just bring it to the new apartment and set it up. So that is also what I got. So, you know, adulting life, we get excited for things like air fryers, slow cookers, and waffle makers. Next up, I have this really, really cute Polaroid camera that Jordan's stepsister gave to me. And I'm so, so excited to use this. I've been wanting one of these for literally so freaking long. I would always put one in my Amazon car, save it for later. I would always debate if I wanted one, when I would get it. I have wanted one for so freaking long. And she actually got me one and I'm so, so thankful for it. It's so cute. I'm so excited to use it. I can't wait for like spring and summer. I wanna take a bunch of pictures and Polaroids and put them on the fridge. And then also put them, Jordan told me today, with that gift card tree, you can actually put little pictures on it. So I'm probably gonna use it for these Polaroid pictures that I'm gonna take. So. I'm so excited for this one. I cannot wait to just take pictures of everything. Next up, I have this bright orange creamsicle tracksuit from Nike that Jordan got me. This was my airport outfit because it was so comfortable. And he got a large, which I was a little bit nervous about because usually I'm a medium, but the large was so comfortable and like the best airport outfit ever. So came with the long 
sweatpants and then it also came with a nice hoodie. It was so comfortable. I just put my hood up and did what I needed to do. I edited on the plane. I slept, drank a little bit of wine. I love tracksuits and I love that this one is like a bit oversized because I feel like the ones that I have are more tight. So I like that it is a large, even though I was a little bit worried. I like how it is a large, so it was nice and comfortable on the plane and in the airport in general. And then speaking of tracksuits, I actually got another one from Jordan's family. It's like this lavender color. It's a bit different, like with the cuffs at the bottom. And this one actually has like the Nike logo on it. But I love this color. If anybody knows me, you guys know that this like lavender, lavender pink color is like my favorite. So I have yet to open it. It's still in here. I'm so excited. The material is actually a little bit lighter than the one that Jordan gave me, which I like. So that way I have two different kinds. If I want like a warmer oversized one, I have that orange one. And then this one is more true to size because it's a medium and it's a little bit lighter material. So I'm really excited to use this as well. It's like all I live in when I'm not at work, sweatpants, hoodies, oversized shirts. That's just what I love and my vibe. So I, absolutely love these two next i got this really really pretty scarf it's like one of those infinity scarves so it just kind of loops around and then this one actually has a little zipper compartment where you can put stuff in here it was such a good idea jordan's um family gave this to me and then they know that since we're gonna move jordan's actually gonna be using my car to go to work because he got a new job. So he's gonna use my car and I'll probably walk to work because I'm actually gonna be a bit closer. So I can use this and then put anything important here because you know, being in a city, living in a city, you can never be too careful when you walk around. So this has a nice little compartment that I can put my phone, I can put money in and it's actually really big. Like I can fit like my whole hand in here. So I love it and it's super, super soft. So I'm definitely gonna be util utilizing I'm definitely going to be utilizing this a lot, especially this winter, because it is freaking cold outside. The DMV is cold as hell right now. I don't know. We had a snowstorm on Monday. I was hydroplaning all over the place. It was pretty bad, but it is cold as hell. I think we brought, you know, the Swedish winter over here when we came back, because all of a sudden it started to snowstorm. But I am really excited to use this scarf. Another thing that Jordan's stepsister got me are these pants with the cutouts. It's kind of like the Maddie pants from Euphoria. If you guys have ever seen that, it was like a huge, huge trend um, when the show came out and everybody was like Maddie for Halloween because she had these really cute cutout pants. So Zara actually, that's her name if you didn't know. Oh my God, my nose is so itchy. So she actually texted me before we went to Sweden and she was like, oh, do you have a pair of these pants? And I did not think anything of it. I was like, no. I don't have any of those and I don't even remember what you replied to it, but I completely forgot about that conversation. And then when I went over there and we were opening presents and I saw these pants, I was like, oh my God, no wonder you asked me if I had these pants. So I'm really excited to try these out. I think she said they were a little bit too big for her. Zara is more petite than I am and these are small. So these are pretty big. I'm really excited to try these on. I've always wanted to have like a pair of the Maddie pants, but I just never bought them because I didn't have anywhere to wear them. So I'm really excited to try these pants on. This is a small, but it seems like pretty true to size. So I'm wondering if it's going to fit, but I'm really hoping that it does. So that is everything that I have like with me to show you guys. I know I also got a Starbucks gift card. I got two sweaters from my godmother. Um, I just don't have them with me. I already used the Starbucks gift card at the airport so I don't have that with me and then some of my sweaters and clothes are already packed so I don't have them to show but it's a white and pink sweater from guests I think and they are so cute I brought them to Sweden and they were really really cute but that's pretty much all I got for Christmas that I have to show you guys so next up I'm going to show you guys what I got in Sweden I don't know what is going on with the air there's like a bunch of fluffies going around it's like going to my nose I don't know what is going on. When we went to Sweden, there was a really cute store called Gina Tricot, and it is so cute. It kind of reminded me of Zara, but like a little bit better. Zara is really hard for me to shop in. I don't know why. I feel like whenever I see other people post 
going to the mall and going to Zara. They have really, really cute things. And then whenever I go, I don't know if it's the Zara that's like around me. It's just never, never a hit. It's always a miss for me. So when I saw that store, it just reminded me of Zara, but in like a way better fashion. So I did, I think I went to that store like three times in the span of a week and I was just going all in. I had to, it was such a good store. And I also found two other stores that I liked, but that Gina store was like, that's my thing. And whenever I go back to Sweden, I'm going to that store at least once. So let me show you guys what I got. So funny story about this sweater. I have actually worn a sweater on my channel. I don't remember what video I used it for, but it's like a white v-neck sweater and it has three buttons going down and it is cropped. Um, and I wanted to bring that to Sweden because I have these really cute pair of pants um, that are like black and white and they just work perfectly together. So I was like, oh, that's a really cute outfit. Let me bring it to Sweden. I can wear these cute combat boots that I bought. And of course, I did laundry like the day before we went to Sweden. So I wanted to hang dry that sweater because I don't like putting it in the dryer. And I forgot it and I was really bummed because I was like, damn, that would have been such a cute outfit. Like, what am I going to do? Maybe I'll just have to find a sweater that looks like it or a sweater that would work. And of course, we're passing by that Gina store. This is literally like the same sweater cropped long sleeve with the buttons in the front with the v-neck it's just a little bit more fuzzy it's like more of a cream like thicker fuzzy sweater but when i saw it hanging there i was like i can't believe the sweater that i left at home is in sweden staring right at me waiting for me to buy it so what did i do i bought it and i was like let's wrap this up because I need this sweater and I love it. It is a little bit more cropped than the other one that I have, but either way, it looked so cute with the pants, looked really cute with the jeans that I got, and it's just a perfect, perfect sweater. So now I have two of the same, but I do not care. It is a really, really cute sweater, and I'm just so happy that I literally saw it in the store. I turned around, and I was like, oh my God. I was like, Jordan, that's my sweater. That's the sweater that I left at home. Like, I have to go buy it. So of course, I bought it. Next up, I got this pair of pants and I actually didn't try this on. I just snagged it at the last second because it was on sale because it has a little tag right there. So I was like, oh, let me just grab them. They're medium, I think. So I was like, screw it, let me just get it. So I haven't tried these on yet, but they look like the comfiest pair of pants ever. Definitely pants that you could wear at home or even just like to go run errands or something. They look so comfortable and I really hope they fit because I have not tried them on yet, but they are so cute. I swear that store was just getting me left and right. I was like, this store is going to take all my money. So I got these pants again, haven't tried them on yet, but I feel like they're going to be perfect for just like lounging around the house. So next I got two sweaters from another store. That's not that Gina store. Um, so I got this pink sweater here it's really really cozy and comfortable and then i also got the same sweater but in gray because my main thing is when i went to sweden i don't have enough sweaters like that like sweaters that i can wear with jeans like to a dinner or something i have like sweaters like this i have like a pretty little thing um like crew neck sweater i have a lot of those and a lot of hoodies but i don't have enough like cute sweaters that I can wear to dinner or like go meet family or something like that. I didn't have any of that. So I had to go, I had to go do some shopping. So I found these two sweaters and I bought them and they are so comfortable and they look really, really cute with jeans. So we have pink one and then we have the same gray one. And then back to the Gina Trico purchases. So I got a couple more things. Jordan actually, he does this thing where he's like, oh, I think you could rock that. Oh, I think you I think you would like that. Oh, I think you would look good in that. I think you could rock that. And of course, when he says that, I'm like, I think I could, let me buy it. Literally in the summer, we went to the mall, we went to JD Sports and there was this like tracksuit that was gray. It was long sweatpants and then like a cropped shirt, kind of like this. So it's definitely like a winter outfit. And of course it was like the middle of July and he goes, Oh, I think you could rock that. I really do. And I bought it and I was like, what the hell? Why did I just buy this? I can't even wear it for like six months. 
he always does that i swear every time he does it i'm like oh i think i would look good in that too let me buy it so here we go he did the same thing at that gina store and i ended up getting these two sweaters so this one says expect nothing appreciate everything which if you know me this should be like my life motto so he saw it he knew that it related to me so he told me to buy this one and then we have another one that says everything is all right and kind of like 70s type of font these are so comfortable and they look super cute with jeans they don't look super bummy or anything like that like you could definitely dress them up if you wanted to they're so comfortable and i'm so glad i bought them because i actually walked out of the store i was like i'm not gonna get anything like i was getting a little bit anxious i was like i i'm just not gonna buy anything and then we walked away and i was like let's go back to that store when i saw that white sweater i was like no let's go back so i ended up buying these two sweaters they're so comfortable i was gonna wear one of these for the video today but i was like no nah, i want to wear my purple adidas sweater but these sweaters are literally so relatable to me that whenever i put them on i'm like mm -hmm. this was made for me and then the last few things that i have from sweden we went to the mall in a different city and it was me jordan and his mom and we went into a store and i kept looking at this white jacket i kept looking at it i would walk away i kept looking at it i would walk away i was like damn do i need that jacket no i don't I don't need that jacket and then i would go back and be like but do i need that jacket it was a whole battle in my head i was like you know what no i'm not gonna get it so i didn't get it that day so we walked around didn't buy anything that shopping trip and then we went back to his city it was like a gloomy day so we wanted to go to the little galleria and go to the shops and there was that store and i was like let me see if they have that that jacket like let me just see well they had the jacket it was 30% off and I bought it and it is so cute. I mean, this jacket is like looking rich, looking expensive. It is so cute. It was a little bit expensive. It is a really nice quality jacket. Like it's not cheap at all. It's definitely a good quality. It definitely wasn't enough for like the Swedish winters because it was cold as hell. But if it was for here, I think it would be perfect. So I got this sweater. It's not like super, super long. It's just kind of a normal length, I guess you could say. It is so pretty. I love it. I literally got into the car when his mom picked us up and I was like, yeah, I bought the jacket. I bought it. I had to, it just looked me right in the eye and it is so comfortable. So I can't wait to wear this. And then of course, when I was checking out, there was some jewelry to my right and I ended up getting some jewelry. I got one big silver and then one little silver. And then I got these in gold as well. And then I bought like the mini version in gold. So now that I have options, I'm pretty set on earrings, but I wanted to get just a couple of more. So I really like the fact that they had the silver and the gold because I do like both. I'm not somebody who only likes silver jewelry or rose gold or gold or anything like that. I definitely like to have a mix. So got these here and they are so cute and i let me tell you i was not gonna go to sweden and not buy any clothes like i just couldn't so that is everything that i got for christmas and everything that i got in sweden i also did a mini sweden vlog if you guys did not see that i will put a card up here for you guys it's really really short just because i really like did not go into vlog mode. I did when we were at the airport and then once we were there, I was so relaxed. It was so peaceful and quiet. I just didn't even think about vlogging at all. So I don't have that much footage, but I definitely wanted to do a little compilation for you guys. So if you guys have not seen it, again, I'll put a little card up here for you guys to check it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you'll get notified every single time I upload and you'll never miss a video from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.